why are we so passionate about what we do? Why do the birds sing? Why do people love to jump out of airplanes? Sometimes we forget as skydivers that what we do is profoundly inspiring. It's the embodiment of facing adversity and prevailing. And when we can take that and share it with others, it creates a connection that is indelible. There was an evolution and there was sacrifices and there was people that invested their entire lives. There's so much to learn from that. It's almost like the sport doesn't exist without something that tells the story. This sport deserves a museum. It was a vision and a dream, and that dream is now becoming a reality. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you would, please, everyone come out to the orange line on the ground. We are getting ready to do a parachute demonstration. When you see the things that are getting ready to happen, and where the sport has evolved to, I think you're going to be amazed. Today is effectively the coming out party for the International Skydiving Museum Hall of Fame. This project will be coming to fruition on this location. It's long overdue to have our sport recognized, and a museum does that. It really kind of validifies the journey that all the athletes through the years of sports skydiving have gone through, and it recognizes the people that have really contributed a lot of their life to the sport and helped it grow. And we've now finally settled on a spectacular location a short distance from some world-renowned attractions, which will make it possible for this museum and Hall of Fame to be successful indefinitely. Not only will this be the International Scottish Museum and Hall of Fame, but right there will be the first wingsuit wind tunnel in the United States. big fan of educating the public on our sport because that's the only way to grow any sport. We can make it into something that is a very constructive experience. We will have a STEM education exhibit. We will use skydiving to teach science to children. There's going to be different sections for everything that's happened in skydiving from the very beginning until where we are today. It, it gives us the opportunity to, to preserve our history and it gives us a facility where skydivers can go and learn about our past and build on our future. We have received tremendously generous gifts. We've been able to pay for this land with absolutely no debt. We bought it with cash. For the balance of this year, we're going to be aggressively adding to all of the money that we've been able to raise so far. The goal of breaking ground on this building late next year. We now need support from the entire skydiving community to be able to present our sport to the rest of the world. Whether you're capable of giving $25, $100, $1,000 for significantly more, this is the time that we need you to come alongside and join us in this effort. This is every skydiver's museum. It's our past, it's our present, and it will be our future. You know, we are a niche industry. Anything we can do to broaden the bandwidth of our industry, I think, is instrumental and important for our success. Seeing people live their lives in full manage their fears and all these other things that skydivers do. Hope that those are the kind of things people that are non-skydivers can see. We didn't do much. We left the airplane, hoped we landed unhurt. And now people do a lot more things in the air than hope. What they're doing today is only as a result of what came before. I'm really anxious to see what's going to come ahead of us out there. This is your life. This is your museum. You should contribute to it. You should be a participant in it. And you should come and visit.